Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about file handling in Java. Many times whenever you type a program and execute the program, it may ask you to give some input. Uh, many times you are given the input and execute the program. After the output has been displayed, you whenever you execute it again, again you need to type the set of input again. So it goes on like that. And many times you need to write, uh, type the uh, number of input. Okay, uh, you might have felt in your mind that why can't we store these data somewhere and so that you can copy and paste it, and uh, it is make it makes the programming easier. So this is a solution where you can store the data into a file, and whenever you need, you can retrieve it from the file itself instead of typing the data again and ag again while you are. Uh, input executing the program to store the data for re later reference you store them in files so if you have some important data to be stored and no need to remember it every time whenever you execute the program you can use files a program requires only a small portion of data then uh, rest of the data reside on the files securing data for later you say you may have lot of uh, data available which will be stored in files you may require a small portion of that uh, data. The remaining data will be stored, which will be secured and will be stored in the file for later use. Whenever you want, you can retrieve it. So let us now uh, learn how we can read and write to files from uh, within Java. That means you are going to uh, see the method of writing into the file and getting retrieving the data from the file. So for that you need to know some terms. Okay, so first term is Java streams. The stream classes that uh, you use for input and output purposes are contained in Java.io package. So normally we use uh, Java.util package uh, to uh, use the scanner class objects and scanner methods in the program. Same way you can also use Java.io package where which is also used to get the input you can use the input statements and output statements okay which is available in java streams there are two types of streams stream classes available in java so first uh, first one is byte stream and second one is character stream so byte stream classes used for byte oriented uh, input and output character stream classes used for character oriented input and output so we are going to discuss about both so byte stream classes can be categorized into input stream classes where you're going to get the input from and output stream classes where you're going to get the uh, put the output okay and character stream classes can be categorized into reader class and writer class so all these you would have seen somewhere in java program so you're going to see it in detail and what are the uses of each each of the above uh, two classes can further be categorized into memory, file and pipe type of stream. So memory is nothing but uh, temporary memory, okay, where the data are stored for uh, temporary time until their data are stored into the file. It should be stored somewhere, right, in the memory. So that is memory. Second one is file, which the data are stored permanently. So once the program is uh, being executed after the completion of the program, the data will be erased when if it is in the memory but if it is in the file it will be stored permanently and pipe is nothing but you want to uh, sh uh, move to two different devices one will be the uh, monitor or another one will be printer then use uh, you may use pipe stream so same thing is uh, represent diagrammatically here java streams which has two uh, categories one is by uh, byte stream classes another one is character stream classes and byte stream classes as uh, input stream classes, output stream classes, same way character stream classes as reader classes and writer classes. For both you have memory, uh, file and pipe. Now operations on files. With files you can perform operations like obtaining input from the file. So actually you are usually get the input from the keyboard. Here you are going to get the input from the file. So you have to write obtaining input from, from a file writing output to a file so once you uh, take the input you are going to store it into a file so that you, are, you call it as output so writing the output to a file it's called as file output these file operation can be performed 
on two things that is character files and binary files so in character files is nothing but text files that stores characters as uh, as per the specific encoding scheme so here it uses java uh, unicode uh, usually java uses unicode so text files uh, uses these unicode scheme to store the characters on binary files the files are stored uh, it's used to store the data in machine readable form okay so it is binary numbers so that's why you call it as uh, binary files okay character uh, oriented io is performed on text files byte oriented io is performed on binary files so we are going to see both okay so here you are going to see only the introduction part the name may be in the future videos we will be introducing you what is how to create uh, text files and binary files so next is uh, next term is buffering a buffer is a temporary storage used to hold data until enough uh, has been collected that is that it is worth transferring so once you type something into the uh, through the keyboard it will be stored into a buffer that is a temporary memory okay until you transfer the data into the file it will be the memory okay so that is what you call buffer buffering can be done uh, it can be used for both input and output so the same way when you take the uh, retrieve the output from the memory it will be shown in the monitor okay that is also uh, temporarily stored in the buffer right so both input and output can be uh, done through buffering an input buffer is used for reading a large chunk of data from the string so you are going to uh, take the data from the file it will be loaded into the buffer input buffer an output buffer is used to store up uh, data to be returned to a stream so once you want to store something into the file you need to type something and keep it so that 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 uh, data what you have typed will be stored in the temporary memory that is output buffer and later on it will be stored into the file okay the uh, the buffered input stream and buffered output stream filters may be used to add buffering to any byte oriented stream okay so if you want to create a program okay or a file which is of byte oriented then you have to use buffered input stream and buffered output stream filters to get the data and stored store it into the file so that moment uh, the uh, time uh, time limit from where the key uh, the data are taken from the keyboard okay till it has been stored into the file that uh, moment that is the time uh, duration okay that filter will be used buffer input stream filter will be used to store right so uh, it is used in byte oriented stream same way by um, buffered reader and buffered writer uh, filters may be used to add buffering to any character oriented stream right so for character for character oriented programming where you are going to create text files you may use buffer reader and buffered writer okay so where uh, the data is are taken from the keyboard stored in the buffered reader and then and then you are going to use buffer writer to store it into the file okay so this is what you call buffering so hope you understood this video we will meet you in the next video which explains you how to create a text file and character binary files okay till then thank you